what's the first step to just going into like the harsher side of things? Well, these two, these two, um, there's two things that are like critical that I believe, um, physically anyway, is make sure you're breathing right first and foremost. Like you never ever want to be singing, especially like harsher vocals. You don't want to be singing with your chest and your throat. So you want all your power to come from the Hellfire Club. From from the Hellfire Club. Like, you want it to come from like here. Yeah. From your diaphragm, which you can feel like if you go like, if you put your fingers into the side of your body and you go, you can feel that, like you're, that tensing that you can feel, that's your diaphragm. So that's what you want to activate because you want all your power coming from that. So this is where you want to send it from. Um, the other thing with breathing is to fill your lungs from the bottom up. I know that sounds weird because it's not like you're filling it with water, but you have to imagine it's like you're filling it with water. So rather than breathing with your chest and going, do you know what I mean? Because when you do that, you're only filling your lungs in the top half. So what you have to do is you have to breathe with your stomach. So, and then it fills your entire lungs. So then you've got more air and then you use your diaphragm to manage that air coming out. Then the other thing is um, activating your false cords, which is it's pretty easy, really. So these false cords are uh, what what creates the distortion. So uh, that's, what's the best way of doing it? My if something God. really, really pisses you off or annoys you, you're like, <laughs> you're like, Argh! do you know what I mean? You know when you get annoyed, you're like, mm, fuck, like that. Mm, uh, that's that's the that's your false cords activating. That's not you. That's not your actual vocal cords because you should feel it a bit further up, up the top. So that's it. So once you get that, and then you can start putting your voice into it. So then it's like so then. <laughs> becomes oh, do you know what I mean mm. so you put an actual voice into it and then that's it really and then just practice that like everybody's voice is going to be different so you just have to find what's comfortable because obviously if it's not if it's if it's hurting then fucking stop that shit straight away um, and then just practice it just practice for like an hour a day you don't need to practice for any more than an hour because when are you going to be singing death metal vocals for more than an hour? <laughs> Do you well, know what I mean? Nobody, on... nobody wants to listen to death metal for more than an hour. I'm in a death metal band and I don't want to listen to death metal for more than an hour because it's like... Depends how long you're in Aldi for. <laughs> hey? Depends how long you're in Aldi for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's about it, really. It's easy. It's easy. It really is easy. It's easy to learn. But it's, but it takes. I wouldn't say it's hard to master. It takes. It t- it just takes time. Mm. It's just time mm. and dedication, like anything, like guitar, like drums, like you just have to put time into it, and just mm. repetition, 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 repetition. So mm. find find your diaphragm, breathe with your stomach, um, activate your false cords, and then put your voice into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's wicked. Yeah, I think <clears throat> there's so many. It's so hard because if I teach someone guitar, I can just point at the fretboard and be like, "Oh, you should be doing this," you yeah. know. Whereas, like what you were just doing there, you can't just like point somewhere in my neck or my yeah. body and go that that you know in you know you can't really. It's not the same. So I think that's possibly where the challenge comes in. And um, I've, I've spoken to a few like a couple of vocal tutors in the past where I felt like they've taught me more about like scales and things. Like I know them already. I, I need to know like how this what you know yeah like, what what should it feel like yeah that's that's the hardest thing because how do you describe it because mm. what where it, if i if i describe how it feels to me it might not feel like that to you mm. or you you might take the the meaning of what i i say it feels like in a different way because you might you might personally describe that same feeling in a in a different manner 
Do you know what I mean? So because it's all on the inside, it's hard to. Yeah. 